This week, I am going to start waking up at 5 a.m. The 5 a.m. club. I'm covered in coffee. <laughs> there have been so many changes. You know when like your vision kind of goes away? Like that's what happens. Now I know. Oh my God. Seven million total likes. Okay, I just finished up showering and drying my hair and I'm gonna walk over to Whole Foods. It's like a 15, 20 minute walk, the Bryant Park location, and get some groceries for the week so I can be on top of what I'm eating. Hello my friends, welcome back to my vlog. If you're new here, my name is Haley Hoffman Smith and I'm the friend that helps you bring your pipe dreams to life through manifestation and motivation. And I'm very excited because this week I am going to start waking up at 5 a.m. Whoa, it's kind of crazy. You guys know I'm really into like anything personal development and I really like to challenge myself. I'm always looking to improve myself, to get more in touch with my higher self or a state of I don't know, like my inner being alignment in the words of Abraham Hicks. I have known that something needs to change on the productivity front for a while. If you've been following along with my vlogs, you know it's been just like a really consistent theme where I feel like I constantly am feeling like I need to reset. I was addressing self-sabotage in a vlog from two weeks ago and I actually did create like a really good schedule of something I was gonna follow every single day. Uh, to prevent against self-sabotage, to cook healthy meals, to make sure I'm getting to my workouts. And yet still, it constantly feels like I'm running behind in my life. And I know it's because I'm distracted. And there's many reasons that we'll be distracted throughout the course of our lives. I'm going through some personal things that make it really easy for me to be distracted throughout the workday. And then on top of that too, like I do so many client calls that it's just hard for me to find a deep groove. I was watching TikToks yesterday and one was talking about the 5 a.m. club. And the whole thing was like, if you want to succeed on the same level as like today's high performers, the secret is to wake up at 5 a.m. while the rest of the world is sleeping and get to it. I saw it and I was like, man, maybe I'll do that eventually, like one day. And then this morning, Ankita, um, one of my best friends, actually sent me a video about the 5 a.m. club and said, I kind of want to start to do this. And it is something that we've been talking about for a while. We're like, okay, we know that we need to change our sleeping patterns because at night there's a tendency to like, you know, you go out to dinner, you make dinner, and then you watch Netflix or you're scrolling TikTok, and then it's a lot of wasted time. If you wake up early and you wake up and there's no distractions, right? Like no one else is up, you just make your coffee, you get right into your work or meditation or whatever it is, there's a whole new level unlocked. Whoa, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I've been waking up at seven, so it's not like the biggest shift. Like I'm already sort of there. I think I'm gonna start by waking up tomorrow at six, but when I first started to even wake up at seven, because I used to be like a 9 a.m. sleeper, for real. It was back in January, and I would not check my phone for like the first two hours of the day. I'd get a ton of work done, and I was just feeling super empowered. And so I think taking it up a notch and making it 5 a.m. and just being really on top of it for myself will just give me a head start, a sense of a head start at least, like in my life. So I'm gonna document it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a really fun vlog theme. And since there's always a spiritual lesson that I put in these vlogs, um, I want this one to be all about the flow state. So I really believe that the universe is always trying to send us inspired action, downloads, joy, and if you think about it, if we're constantly in a state of distraction, like if we're constantly looking at our phones or we're with people and we're not spending time with ourselves or with our work, it's really hard to receive those downloads. And I really do think the flow state where it's really hard to tear your gaze away from whatever it is that you're doing or working on or reflecting on, that is where you are in the most touch with the universe. Like I've explored this through presence, how important it is to be present, which I think I've been doing a really good job of. But an added element to that is the flow. Like when you just come up with a good idea for something and then you create or you start to get work done. The flow being the place, one of the most spiritual places you can be is gonna be the theme of this vlog. So I just got back from Whole Foods and I wanna do a little grocery haul. It's usually not like me to do that, but groceries has have been something that I know I need to change up. I guess like a 
consequence of being distracted has been, you know, I'm going through the day, it's super hectic, I'm trying to get everything done on top of all the meetings that I have and where I'm running off to, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm super hungry, I have nothing here to cook because I haven't even had time to go out and grocery shop, let me just order something from Uber Eats. No, and I'm doing it way too often. So today I was like, enough's enough, and I ran to Whole Foods, and let's do a grocery haul, baby. So first of all, I got baby spinach. I love to do this just with lemon and olive oil, and then I add like garlic salt. Then I got these bars. I think this will be good for if I'm in the middle of the day and I don't, I'm like not hungry enough for a full lunch, but I need something that's gonna keep me going if I'm gonna do an early dinner or something. So there are X bars, gluten-free. You guys know I'm gluten-free. I really like these. So usually if I'm like traveling, I'll grab one at the area airport or the train station. I also got this stuff for in the morning, green superfood by Amazing Grass, alkalize and detox. So every morning I make a plant protein shake with this stuff. It's called Garden of Life Raw Organic Meal. It's an organic shake and meal replacement. It does a really good job of holding me over, but I just wanted to add a little extra something something. And this has it's like a green food blend, an alkalizing blend. It's like anything that's super healthy, I really get excited about. So I'm gonna like to add that to my morning shake, which I just do with almond milk. I got some, oh my gosh, everything's fine. I got some lemons for my water. I love a good lemon water or also for the salads. And then I got an onion. I don't really know what I'm just gonna do with the onion. If I chop it up and saute it, it's gonna go well with some of the meals that I have in mind. So stay tuned on the onion front. And then I also got gluten-free pancake mix. I love this mix. It tastes like real pancakes. Obviously they're real pancakes. It tastes like non-gluten-free pancakes. The brand is Bob's Red Mill. So easy to make. I just do it with almond milk, butter, and then like that's that. Sometimes that really just works as a dinner. Then I also got melatonin. Take one before bedtime because obviously I'm about to start going, waking up at 5 a.m. So it's not gonna work if tonight I can't fall asleep until like midnight unless I wanna be destroyed tomorrow. So we'll try one of these. Peppermint flavored fast acting lozenges. Support for restful sleep. I think that'll be good. 2.5 milligrams. That's either a lot or very little. <laughs> Bonza pasta, so it's made from chickpeas, gluten free. And I thought this was interesting, organic grilled chicken breast strips, for just like a Whole Foods brand. It's interestingly, like I think I could just throw these in the air fryer with some seasoning and to heat it up and then put it on top of a salad this week. Good old ground beef, something that I like to do is saute the beef that's probably maybe where the onions will come in and then i do it with rice and then it's been if you guys didn't know this soy sauce actually is not gluten free but liquid aminos taste like soy sauce and it is gluten free it's a soy protein seasoning soy sauce alternative so a meal that i like to do is like the beef sauteed sometimes like onions or another vegetable rice and then the soy sauce it actually tastes like phenomenal so excited about that then i got a soup just to like have another like midday thing. I still feel like I might need some more protein when I get hungry. And then bacon, yum. Bacon in the air fryer is it. That goes alongside my pancakes if I'm gonna have like a breakfast for dinner type thing. So woo. Something that I find really fascinating is that I always feel this need, and I've had, okay, I forgot to close the cabinet, it's fine. I always feel this need to do like a reset vlog. Like that's always what I say, and I've called vlogs in the past resets, or I've had moments within vlogs where I've been like, I'm gonna hit the reset button, and it just made me realize like we all need to press the hard reset button on our lives probably once a week. Like where we clean up our space, where we get everything done that we've been putting off throughout the course of the week, where we drink enough water. Like I'm about to go get a gallon of water and get back on that. So Sony's on a line has been, I mean, I'm doing it. I just haven't been keeping up with the water as much because I did not have a gallon of water with me. What? And also, I don't know if you guys saw what happened to my little gallon bottle that I was using. Things went really wrong in the wash. So, I mean, it's not not usable, but the lid won't go on and that really ruins it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, just little things like that, like getting your life back on track. And that's why I think we can get so swept up in this busy life where we're working all week and then we're with our friends all weekend or doing something social. And then it's like, well, where's the time to like organize things around your space? I mean, let me know if you agree with me. So I'm gonna spend some time today hitting the reset button, 
although that won't be the theme and I just encourage you to consider how you can have a weekly one hour reset just to get everything done that you need to get done so I'm gonna do some laundry not my favorite thing but it needs to be done go get some water and drop off some packages that I needed to drop off and tidy up again not fun but it needs to be done and I'll feel way better once I do it let's go okay the laundry is going and something that I have been dreading doing for a long time longer than I'd like to admit is descaling my Nespresso machine and I know that it needs it and I ordered the stuff, so I got kind of far into the process, but I don't really know what to do with it. But I think forcing myself to vlog doing it might help a little bit and might serve as a good reminder to y'all to descale your coffee machine or an espresso machine. Stay tuned. Um, this is already off to a terrible start. What happened? I'm covered in coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh, all I did was open this up okay okay it is everywhere oh my god literally don't understand why would there be coffee inside the machine <laughs> sos wowza okay that is definitely not the same color as what went in <laughs> okay it's almost 8 30 p.m popping my melatonin. I'm just gonna do one, it's just 2.5 milligrams, so it's very, should be very chill. Rach and I just did like a four mile walk. I should be ready to go to bed early. Oh my gosh, these are like little mints. Peppermint flavor, little like this. I think I'm just supposed to put, use only at bedtime, place one lozenge under your tongue 20 minutes before bedtime and let it dissolve. And let it dissolve. <laughs> Okay, it's so cozy in my bedroom, all set up for an early night's sleep. I lit a candle, and I'm trying to make a path of least resistance for myself in the morning. So I, in addition to having to scaled the Nespresso machine today, Rachie is here. She helped me make my bed. I put my water, fresh water here, so all I have to do in the morning. In fact, you know what? I will choose a cup. Which cup should we start with? Yes, I filmed it. <laughs> I filmed the great. <laughs> I will have this right here, and then in the morning I can choose whichever one I want, and all I have to do is get it started. I think I'm gonna do 5.30 instead of 5 a.m. tomorrow because this morning I woke up at 8.30, and so even like a three hour increase, and especially to be on X Games mode the second I wake up. Great. Thanks too. Hi. I do think I think increments help, and then also for anyone who else is going to try this, I just told Haley, don't lay in bed, don't like wake up, even if you hit the snooze once, whatever. But then don't just be like, I'm awake, I'm just gonna lay here. Get out of bed, walk yeah. around your apartment, walk outside if you can for some fresh air. It's just it really helps you just wake up. You heard it here, folks. There you go. I will <laughs> see you in the morning, and hopefully I have the energy to film. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I promise I literally am about to go to sleep, but it's interesting. I was just watching some TikToks and I love this guy named Feel Good Life. I've talked about his videos in a past vlog, but he was just talking about letting the universe flow through you and how sometimes we make decisions that are in our human. So that's like when we're trying to be really logical, we make plans with our friends, but then making plans with our soul or our higher selves looks really different. And his whole thing was just to get out of the way, stop being the dam in the river so that the universe can flow through you. And it just spoke to this message of this week around Pelosi. And that's why I'm just so excited for tomorrow morning and to try this out. I'm a little nervous to get up that early, but the sun will be rising, so it can't be that bad. So with that, my friends, good night. to get out of bed i mean i think the fact that it's light out is one thing it was the most beautiful sunrise even though it was cloudy wow i look exhausted it's fine but there is like an energy this morning um maybe it's just the energy of an early morning maybe it's the fact that i can 
feel energetically that not a lot of people are awake. It just feels so peaceful, but also so exciting. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So I'm gonna read for a little, and then I'm gonna caffeinate. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and dive into some work. I can't believe how much time I have <laughs> until I'm meeting the girls for brunch at 10. It's, you know, not even six yet, so get some serious work done. now 7 30 and i got one client article done and i'm getting a little bit tired <laughs> i'm just like honestly documenting this i feel like my body is like okay the adrenaline rush is over we got up i'm tired now and i'm like keep going <laughs> stuff I got yesterday does not taste the best, but I'm just gonna gulp it down. It's too healthy to not drink. Okay, I went for a walk, just did my makeup and put on this cute outfit. This skirt from Rent the Run Run, fun. And I'm heading to meet the girls for brunch. I got a burger because I'm starving and because it feels like it's lunchtime since I've been up for so many hours. <laughs> okay guys, so it's really cool. I mean, I have been awake now for, it's almost 2 p.m. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do the math. I woke up at 5.30 to 12.30 is seven hours. Okay, so I've been up over eight hours now and I'm not really that tired. I got a little bit tired after I um, ate lunch, but the main thing is that I have just felt really focused and grounded today. And it really makes me believe in what everybody says. I mean, I don't know, I didn't believe in before about how you start the day is how you continue the day. So if you start a day and you're super distracted, you check your phone first thing, you're not getting anything done, like you don't start the day on your own terms, then it's really hard to get back into it throughout the rest of the day. And it's just amazing that I was so, focus this morning i had to be right like that's a lot of hours to be without my phone no one else was awake that has just really continued throughout the rest of the day i mean i just i just got home from lunch i was feeling tired i was like oh i'm gonna upload my vlog for next week and then i had like 30 minutes left and i was like oh i'll get my newsletter done too and originally i was gonna do it um tomorrow morning so i'm like whoa i've never been this productive it's really crazy i just i really think this is the secret to everything i'm so excited i cannot already can't wait for like time tomorrow morning but i'm actually heading right now into my last ever psychic meditation class i think you guys remember that i've been taking this class for the last 12 weeks i cannot believe it's been 12 weeks i just can't i think you guys might remember that the first of this class coincided with a time in my life that i really needed help and i've just been in a massive healing process a huge life event occurred and so to even think back and be like that was 12 weeks ago is really mind-boggling to me and there's been so <laughs> there have been so many changes i mean i don't even think i recognize my past self and learning how to see things from an intuitive psychic space and meditate and ground my energy and read past lives and all the crazy things that i've learned how to do has been so fulfilling and it's a three hour thing every sunday and i'm really gonna miss it i really am I mean, three hours is like a long time especially in the middle of the weekend but i mean i'm really gonna miss it so there's actually a second course starting end of august i'm pretty sure i'm gonna take it but it's just emotional to be heading into this last class um but i know some of you guys are really interested in what i learned and what the process was like so i'm actually gonna record a podcast episode probably tomorrow morning bright and early fresh and early about everything i learned in the class and some cool stories so i'm gonna brainstorm for that i think it'll be a really cool episode but i'll see you when i'm officially an intuitive healing graduate <laughs> I've been waiting all night Watch you blow a mile Please don't come over Cause you're not sober yeah. Leftover Americano from yesterday I am so tired this morning But this view makes it so worth it Honestly the camera is not doing justice To the colors in the sky <laughs> I'm so tired there are a few cars but it's crazy to see like nobody at this park and really i mean the streets are mostly empty i'm so dramatic there's a few cars 
<laughs> but there's just a stillness around the city. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, good morning, guys. I just got a spray tan at 7 a.m. It was nice to be able to accommodate something that early. Usually, you know, I'm up at 7. I am feeling so tired <laughs> this morning. Oh, I could not get to sleep last night, which is really wild since like the night before it was my first night doing it. Um, but eventually I fell asleep and actually my aura ring says that I slept really well. It says I didn't even wake up once, so I must have been exhausted. But the alarm definitely came early this morning, but the sunrise made all of it super worth it. Um, but I'm definitely about to make some more coffee. I'm like hovering over my espresso machine, like send help. I had like a leftover Americano from yesterday, which usually gets me going. But this, today I just think I'm gonna need a little bit more, but that's okay because adjusting your schedule is hard and this should be expected. <laughs> Mistakes haunt us, but do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close. Mission accomplished. I finished my makeup. I made a really funny Instagram reel slash TikTok. The whole thing is like talking to the universe, trying to talk to it for the first time. I've been trying out this new wave of like funny content since usually my stuff is obviously very like spiritual and emotional, which obviously I'll do some of that later, but it's just been fun to switch that up. But guess what just arrived, my friends? 5 a.m. club. So I'm gonna start reading this. I know it's crazy that I even started the 5 a.m. club before reading this, but I think this is just gonna empower me more in my decision. Love it. We have eternity to celebrate the victories, but only a few hours before sunset to win them. Whoa. Hey, hi guys. I'm doing transparency every step of this process because it's not easy to suddenly wake up at five, well, in my case, 5.34 a.m. It's 4 p.m. I've been in a really good flow of work all day. I went for a walk earlier. I had a few calls. I've just been really productive. And then I got hit with this wave of an insane exhaustion right before my last call. Powered through the call actually like felt really good and then it really hit after. So I just took a little nap. Obviously, like part of the reason I'm doing the 5 a.m. club is to do better content, like have more focus and presence with myself for that. And I didn't have time for that this morning because of like the spray tan and some other miscellaneous things I need to do as not for filming, but for brainstorming. And I need to film. Like it's really one of my values and I'm exhausted. Like when I stood up from my nap, it kind of felt like, you know, when like your vision kind of goes away, like that's what happened. So I'm going to be really gentle with myself. I mean, it's only four and I did, you know, I let myself nap for like a quick 25 minute nap. That should be enough. I'm just going to go to sleep really early tonight, but if you guys, you know, start undoing this, don't be surprised if you get tired, especially since last night I couldn't fall asleep till pretty late. So anyways, I'm just going to touch up my makeup and power through kindly. I'm not going to be on X Games mode or anything, but I am going to uphold promises that I've made to myself. And I also think you get energy from doing things you love, which in my case is content creation. So I have that. I have a 7 p.m. group coaching call. And then it's gonna be early to bed. Wow, what a luxury. <laughs> okay, final meeting done. The sun is glorious right now, which is why I'm filming it. It was the last group, well, I've had mul I've had multiple future U pods, but it was the last call, both of them today were the last call <laughs> of the group coaching pods, which is always just like really sad because there's, or bittersweet because there's a, such a beautiful group dynamic that emerges anyways i started i sounded like a freaking idiot during it because i am so tired things are getting a little bit fuzzy around the edges hence why i can barely talk on this vlog but i am just gonna heat up some soup <laughs> what you can literally see the shadow of the camera it's fine it's fine i'm gonna heat up some soup and then get into bed and <laughs> the shadow of me right here it's funny call it a night i think i'm gonna sleep really well excited to wake up tomorrow it's literally only 8 p.m this is grandma town it's approximately two minutes later i know you can't tell <laughs> but um ankita told me that um her boyfriend was making her burgers and a burger sounds so good. I think I realized I'm way hungrier than soup. So I'm making the burger. The reason I came on to tell you guys this is because remember what, how I didn't know what I was gonna do with an onion? Well, 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 <laughs> now I know. Oh my God, the onion. We're gonna have to rinse this off. I don't think I should be in the kitchen unsupervised right now. This is the story of how Haley's brain broke two days into the 5 a.m. club. I think that funny, you know when you're like at that stage of tired where everything's hilarious, I think I'm past that, maybe a little bit, and I'm just an aching tired. So let's do a little bedtime routine. 
This stuff is literally so good. Laneige. It's a water sleeping mask. I honestly, my face is so dry. I need to add in some other moisturizer, but I like to just put it on as a first coat since I'm next going to make my Organifi Gold. Not like I need any assistance sleeping, but I think it's just a nice way to end the night. These pajamas do not even match and I do not have the energy to do anything about it because who's gonna be seeing me outside of y'all on the vlog? Good night, New York City. I love you. A little Netflix time with my Organa by Gold. Does life get better than this? I've been watching Shit's Creek. It's pretty good. It's fine. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Walk out of my bedroom and then just look up. And this is like the stunning, stunning sunrise. So it's so worth it, even though I'm really sleepy this morning. <laughs> I mean, just press away, stop. Say you wanna take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? clay mask now that is how you start the day <laughs> this is by charlotte tilbury it's the goddess skin clay mask and it's one of my favorites it brightens my face so much it feels super therapeutic just to put on it feels like i'm the spa I'm just gonna let this simmer while i read the 5 a.m club by robin sharma and drink my coffee i'm not as tired this morning as yesterday but i'm definitely still tired i'm glad i'm up <laughs> i'm excited to spend the next few hours getting some work done creating some creative processes i think i'm gonna feel really Really good. It's all about feeling good, isn't it? Well, let's leave this on. It's been three days stalking his Instagram, saying he's in a phase. So now you're telling everyone that we're drifting apart. Now I know that it was you who made me feel so messed up. Hanging out with new females, cute, but are they even real? Bad? Those Chloe Ting workouts are no joke. I am gonna shower and get ready for the day now. It's amazing that I've had almost, been up almost four hours. Oh my God, I can't breathe. And, oh, I can't speak, I can't speak. It's been a really good day. My manager, Isabel, was here for the last several hours and we fine-tuned something that I've been working on for a while and that I think I'm gonna launch here in like two days. Eek, very excited. Also really cool, I've been getting like completely overwhelmed with the number seven in a good way. I just hit 77.7 thousand followers on Instagram. You can't see because it's turned around, but I love the number seven. It's such a celebratory energy, and I, I'm following 77 people, 777 people on purpose. And right as that hit, probably within like 20 minutes, I hit seven million total likes on TikTok. Is that crazy? So very good day. Things are going well. I'm just feeling excited. I don't feel that tired today. I mean, I've been drinking caffeine all day too, so I don't really know if that's like a reasonable thing to say, but I just have two more coaching calls and then Ankita is coming over this evening. We're gonna make steaks and then go for an evening walk. I'm trying to chop spinach. I mean, I don't even know what that means. Ankita is on her way over and she asked me to chop spinach. The picture she sent me doesn't look anything like the spinach I'm chopping. Let me just show you. So my cutting board is in the dishwasher, so I'm literally doing this on a paper towel. This can't be right. I am embarrassing myself. What do you mean? Chopped spinach? I just think I'll just keep, all right. <laughs> the finished version of the salad. Ankh is manning the steak. Woo! Woo shakalaka. <laughs> Okay, 
Hey, good morning. Oh my gosh. Good morning, friends. This morning, the wake up was also pretty hard, but there was no way I was gonna press the snooze button. I also woke up a little bit before my alarm, which I did yesterday too, which I think is a good sign of my body adjusting for sure. Also, I was exhausted when I fell asleep last night, so I think I fell asleep in like one second. Anyways, it's been a huge heat wave here in New York. It's been like 90 every single day, absolutely absurd. So it's not even 7 a.m. yet, and I'm gonna go for my daily walkie walk. I uh, just get some fresh air, be by the water, listen to some good music or some Abraham Hicks. And I'm almost done with this book. I just completely lost myself in it this morning. Signs by Laura Lynn Jackson. I'm one of those people who always has her hand in like 10 different books at once. And so I'm excited that these mornings where it's literally uninterrupted, like no one else is up, nothing can distract me. I can just lose myself in a good book because I probably read like four chapters of this and truly loved every single word like I was really present with the book which is exciting so I'm t grabbing one of these little bars that I got from Whole Foods I'm gonna walk and munch on it <laughs> probably come back and do a brief little Chloe Ting workout before I get some writing done okay I just finished up my two meetings for today I'm feeling really good, way less tired than the other days. I definitely think I've moved into the groove of it all. I also had some lock alone cold brew though, so I guess same thing as yesterday. You can't really tell if it's caffeination versus just being well rested. However, I do think I'll go to bed early tonight. I just looked at my aura ring and it said that like I got enough sleep, but it wasn't very restful sleep. And I'm actually wondering if that was like too much caffeine to try to overcompensate for how tired I was. Just going into all this detail to help y'all if you want to do this, like try to stay away from a ton of caffeine during the day, like at least later in the day. Cause it's like, obviously you need it in the morning, but I'm going to be very conscious of how much caffeine I have the rest of the day. So it's 1.30. I'm going to head to Ankita's apartment to work with her. And then I'm going to go to the chiropractor, which I desperately need to do because I tried to do another Chloe Ting workout this morning and my hip is so out of place. It was like embarrassing. <laughs> I could not get any of the workouts done and it really hurt. Um, so looking forward to both of those things. And then we'll come back here and have a chill night and call it a day early. Okay, you guys, I'm wrapping up the vlog here and I thought I would just reflect on a few of the things that the 5 a.m. club has brought me and to be clear, the 5.34 a.m. club. I do think I will shift to 5 a.m here in the next few days. Not that 34 minutes is that big of a difference, but when it comes to waking up early, kind of, just because when I wake up, the sun's already rising and I just kind of want to know what it's like to wake up even earlier and to have that like very spiritual moment as the sun just starts to rise. I think that would be really beautiful. And also like 5.34 is not that far away from 6 a.m. and a lot of people wake up at 6 a.m. So I've actually been finding that even though it definitely gives me a lot more time in the mornings, I still think I could use a little bit more time. So Ankita and I were talking about it today. I think we're gonna venture into 5 a.m. Wow. <laughs> so we'll definitely record that for the next vlog. The biggest takeaway for me, obviously I've been tired. Like it kind of feels like a jet lag situation where I'm going, you know, I'm getting enough sleep every night, but the hardest part is falling asleep at night. Okay, I'm having this eyelash extension issue. Like two of my eyelashes is, are hanging down and connecting with the bottom lash, so just, Ignore me if I'm touching this. The major thing for me has been the ability to focus. I didn't see that coming. You know, I started this because I just wanted to get a head start on every single day, have more time for focused work, focus deep work, have more time with myself for myself. And I have really been shocked how throughout the day I have been really bad on my phone. I don't even think that should be the right word. Like. I think we as a society call it bad on your phone if you're having a hard time getting back to people and you're not checking your phone a lot but I have really just felt empowered in that just because all throughout the day I am still in the mode that I was in that morning. I really do believe that the energy you go into the day with is the energy you'll continue with. So if you wake up and you immediately roll over and you're checking your phone and scrolling, you're going to be in that distracted place all day. Like energy really does build momentum. But if you have these quiet moments alone with yourself and a long period of work where it's just you and your focus, you know, no one else is up. So you have no reason to check in or you have the willpower if you don't want to wake up this early to just like make it through that first one, two, three hours of the day without checking and communicating. You'll be amazed how much you really retain your energy. And it just makes me really excited about what's to come because when I try these challenges such as 77 Aligned, I don't 
don't do them, you know, just to challenge myself and then call it, be like, okay, all done, finish the challenge. Like the reason I'm trying them is because I want to integrate them into my life. Like I don't talk about some days I'm aligned too much, but I do it every single day. Some days I miss the second workout, but I always move my body every single day. I'm doing the gallon of water every single day. I'm doing the spiritual podcast every day. Everything that I said I was gonna do, I'm now completely integrated because it feels so good. Like I don't wanna not do it. And now I know that no matter how tired I am when 5.34 or five rolls around, I don't wanna press snooze, go back to sleep, and then wake up when the sun is high in the sky and the rest of the world is up. You have to at least try things just so you can see how good it feels to fully be in the elements of alignment with your higher self. And it's gonna look different for every person. I'll never say that the one secret to success is waking up early, but a lot of people say that. I will say, I will say that. <laughs> I will never say that the secret to success is following somebody who's unaligned, but a lot of these practices you know, I, I took them on because I had a feeling this is going to help me. This is going to help me push the needle forward in my creativity and my business and my healing and my interpersonal work and my spirituality. And it's done all of that. And in a way that I think is really sustainable, it's been a complete life makeover, but the energy that I felt just over these past what, four mornings and then through the rest of the day has just been so incredible that I just wish I could extend the biggest invitation. I am extending it to you, but I wish I could just like force you to do it just for one morning, just to try it because I want you to experience the power that comes with it. I really think you deserve that. I'm gonna end the vlog here since this vlog has been a, a very specialized vlog and I will see you next week. And of course I'll keep you posted on how this continues to go. Definitely leave a comment below if you plan on taking up this challenge and changing the confines of your life to see when you wanna wake up, when you wanna to go to sleep, see if you can just do a little shifty shift and also let me know what time you wake up. I just wanna know like what this looks like for you guys. Um, I also know that people are gonna ask this because I didn't film this. I don't necessarily have a morning routine. I do try to read a spiritual book. I meditate, I have my coffee, I have a protein shake, and then I usually try to go for a walk in the morning or do some form of exercise just to get my blood running, which is very helpful in terms of like productivity right off the bat. But that's really it, like beyond waking up now. I don't have some like tried and true morning routine. So I'd also like to know yours, if there's one that you swear by. I think as long as you have all the elements there, it's good. Okay guys, big hugs, bye.